so there is a legacy approach to uh, sales and marketing, um, so a bias, sorry, seller-centric approach, and that involves cold calling. Uh, we know that 90% of B2B buyers don't accept cold calls. Spam emails, the average person receives 147 emails a day, which is quite a lot to contend with, right? Um, and advertising, so it's a very intrusive kind of push approach. The issue is, so as we can see, cold calling's dead, right? So, why has that, what, what has changed? Why does cold calling not work anymore? Um, two core reasons. Firstly, the rise in digital, the fact that if you want to buy something, you'll go on Google, right? Or just speak to some of your colleagues and you know, ask for their advice. And the other, the, other sort of, uh, the other issue is that there's a rise in the number of stakeholders involved in buying decisions. So there's actually 5.4 um, people involved in, in, in buying decisions. But the, the issue is that we still need to go out to prospect because you can't rely solely on inbound marketing for your new business. Because if you want to target sort of top tier companies, you have to do something. So, the, the new approach, the modern approach, is all around bias centricity. So it's a bias centric approach. And that involves calling with context. So 64% of B2B buyers actually like it when you've done a bit of research about them before you get in touch with them. And sending relevant emails. So we know that sending a relevant email to someone, like a personalized email, drives 18 times more um, revenue than just sending a spam email and sharing educational content. So gaining the trust of your buyer by sharing content, not just sending them marketing collateral, but sharing blogs or infographics that help to educate them uh, around uh, overcoming their challenges. So this is the conclusion, the three pillars of modern prospecting. Personalization. So we advise to carry out research before you get in contact with your uh, potential buyers over the phone uh, or via email. Um, if you've got someone responsible for prospecting, then we would advise to split the research role so that there's someone carrying out research and someone who's um, making the outreach attempts. And use tools like Aula.com as well, which is a really good tool for uh, doing research. Multi-channel, so don't just leave a, a voicemail, but also send the email and make a, a social touch point. So like or comment or retweet or um, favorite something on social. And we, we know that sort of by doing that three-pronged attack, you double the chances of engaging with your prospects. And finally, social selling. So if you share 20 posts a month, and I'm not talking about your own content, but third-party content on LinkedIn, you're able to reach out to 60% uh, of your connections on LinkedIn. So by sharing and engaging with your connections on LinkedIn, you're building yourself up as a thought leader, which also helps to prospect the modern buyer. Thank you. <laughs>